This is Dave Fleming, broadcaster with the Giants. This is Ron Wotus with the Giants, and I'm back on base. I heard earlier on in the year that some of the Giants coaching staff were playing the video game MLB to the show to kind of maybe just keep people's names straight, some of their strengths and weaknesses. So was that all you? Are you the gamer on staff? or? Oh, boy. I didn't even hear that, so you could tell how much of a gamer I am. No, <clears throat> you know, I got Asteroids. Remember Asteroids? Pac-Man. Remember Pac-Man? There was Donkey Kong. And, of course, the first video game I ever had was on the black and white TV, Pong, right, where the ball would go back and forth, and you would have to hit it, and it would go back and forth, then it would get faster. And my favorite of all time, it's really, really old, was Asteroids. Asteroids, yeah. That's about it. I'm not a big gamer with anything else. And is it true, I heard a rumor that your handicap is three on the golf course. Is that true? Or? <laughs> it's up to four. I've been playing some bad golf lately, but yeah, you heard that right. I imagine you've had some good matches with Giants-related people. The, the one who's working on it, I mean, Affelt says he is, Romo's really working at it. And I told Romo when I saw him in spring training, because he wanted to tell me all about golf, and I said, look, I'm not playing with you until you, you can't be that bad. I'm not playing with you. And I think he kind of, I was kind of teasing him, but I think he really took it seriously. So now every time he sees me, he's giving me reports on his scores. I'm like, I'm just letting him go, but I, I sort of feel a little guilty about it because I think he really thinks I was like being harsh and judgmental and I'm never playing with you until you clean it up. I thought you have a good doppelganger, uh, Don Johnson. Do you ever get that one or? <laughs> Don Johnson. You know, I haven't gotten that one. But a couple of my friends call me the Fonz. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes the, the older he's gotten, he looks a little bit like me. So uh, I haven't heard Don Johnson. He's too he's too suave to be me, though. Well, you got you got the hair. You got the goatee sometimes, you know. Yeah. I think it's a good. You should run with it. Yeah, okay. I, I, I see it. I see the connection, yeah. It's got to be surreal for you because isn't it true you grew up in uh, Virginia listening to John Miller and now you're friends and colleagues with him? It is true. Some of my earliest baseball memories, we had a one of those old-timey station wagons where the back seat faced backwards. You may be too young to remember those, but like the, the old Chevy station wagons where the back gate would sort of swing open and the back bench seat was facing backwards. And uh, I can remember being in the back seat of the station wagon driving home from going to an Orioles game in person, and you'd put on the radio broadcast on the way home because John was doing the highlights just like he does now. Uh, so, you know, truly from the time I was a, John may not want to hear that, but from the time I was a little kid, I was listening to John. But when I first started here, that was, uh, it was an interesting feeling.